Welcome again, dear friends, to another edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. And it is now Friday, April 9th, 2021. So again, this week we're just enjoying talking a little bit about where do we go from Easter? great celebration that we had God willing last weekend where do we go now what do we do with Easter and my prayer for myself and for you both is that we don't just leave Easter in the rearview mirror of last weekend but that we make each day about Easter every day no matter where you are what you're doing Honor God. Whatever we may be doing, whatever we may be thinking, whatever we may be saying, we everything we do in word, thought, and deed be glorifying to God. We need to take our rightful place. He has restored us to that position where we are now in a right relationship with God. We need to see ourselves in that position, the way God sees us in that position. Many times we will again, kind of punish ourselves for those things we do that we wish we wouldn't have done. But Peter was our example here this week, I believe, because after Easter, Peter found God was still with him and that Christ was willing to forgive him. You know, I came across something yesterday when I was doing some reading. I'm going to try to summarize it for you. God chose us before the foundations of the world. So God chose Peter, and he chose you, and he chose me. That's just reality. Jesus died then for each of us. So God the Father chose us. Jesus Christ died for us. So we could live for him. And then the Holy Spirit gives us the power now to follow Christ. And we are forgiven in Jesus Christ. Because we have been afforded that holiness, that righteousness that came from Christ to us through faith in what he has done for us on the cross. Many of us, I'll, I'll again speak for myself, but I think this is the case with a lot of people I really do we have really pretty good memories we may not remember what we had for dinner two days ago but I'll tell you what we'll remember what we did that wasn't pleasing to God 25 to 35 to 45 years ago if we lived long enough it's almost like putting a notch in our belt or making a mark on the tree that just never leaves. We, we remember those that are ever present before us. We can always see them. Even though God has come and removed the dents from our lives, he's covered in repaired the holes 
that we put in our belt, like notches of all the sins we did. Not in the sense of pride, but because we just remember those things we did. Well, God has covered those, and he's now made that belt, if you will, completely as it should be. We don't have to be looking back and thinking, well, I did this particular sin, and you know, when I was... 15 or I did this when I was 45 or whatever it might be we don't have to go back and look at that to do so takes us away from Christ we have to see ourselves the way Christ sees us while we were yet sinners Christ in his infinite love and mercy died for us Not only did he die for us, but if we receive his sacrificial death on the cross for our sins, if we receive that by faith, the forgiveness that Jesus Christ is offering us, then God sees us now as being perfect. Christ sucked all the sins out of our lives like a giant vacuum and just pulled them all out and he replaced that emptiness in our hearts with his love his forgiveness his grace his mercy so now when god sees us he's seeing christ Christ took our sins upon himself and he, in exchange, gave us his righteousness. It doesn't seem like a very good trade to me. <laughs> you know, Christ did all the work, didn't he? <laughs> Not only did he do all the work, he gave us all of the blessings. And the sins were removed from us as far as the east is from the west. God won't remember our sins anymore. We remember them. Well, we need to let him go. And so I think, you know, we're looking at Peter this week. I think that's a big part of what Peter had to do was to let go of those things he did that he felt like he messed up. He let Jesus down. You know, when we let people down, we feel bad about it. Peter felt bad about letting the Lord down. But Jesus Christ restored him and redeemed him and brought him back. I believe Jesus had always had that relationship with Peter, but God had to show Peter through the actions of Christ on that shoreline that one morning where he asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? Just to kind of correspond with the three times that Peter denied Christ. It was really an amazing way for God to show his love and his mercy to Peter. And I don't think after that time, Peter ever doubted God's love for him. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about some ideas for the churches. But I'm going to end up today by just saying this as we look at Peter as our example. Peter used all of the experiences that God had let him go through so that he would become the bold witness for Jesus Christ in the early church. Peter was instrumental in helping the early church grow and prosper and to spread the message of Jesus Christ that he came for the whole world. May that be our story, that we put ourselves in the back and we focus only on Christ and let him do with us whatever he sees fit. Well, friends, thanks again for joining me today on this Friday edition of Fresh Bread. Hope to see you back for more Fresh Bread on our weekend edition tomorrow. Until then, may God richly bless you. It's my prayer. Have a great day.